so this week, or the last probably week and a bit, James, you've uh, we talked about this a little on Clubhouse, but Brad, I'd like to get right. your take because you've been involved in in it on Twitter. The whole love fest for Origins, Abubakar, oh, yeah. Ashraf, everybody. Like, uh, do you want to explain it? I guess if people don't have Twitter, James, what what what's been going on? Okay, so I decided. <laughs> okay, so last week I noticed my views were down. And I was like, look... And you're, and you're a piece of shit. Yeah, yeah I, I, I need to make an Assassin's Creed video. I need to. So I did it. And I thought... But I thought... I didn't want to make any Assassin's Creed video. I didn't want to talk about Odyssey, because that's obvious. Like, they, everyone knows I don't like Odyssey. So it would be so fucking dumb if I started doing that. I don't want to make, like, a what if or anything like that. I was like, what can I talk about? And then I was like, of course. It's perfect timing. Let's talk about Bayek again. So I was like, okay, I'll make a video on a Bayek <laughs> sequel. Let's talk about it again. Let's get it going. And I thought it was like mid... Because I wrote a bit of a script and I sort of followed it until the very end where I thought, let's just make it into like a thing. I'm just going to bring back... This is our, this is my Bayek. Let's bring back Bayek sequel. And let's just like sort of... Sort of as like a bit of a fuck you to Odyssey. Be like, let's all just talk about Origins, even though Odyssey is out. Because I thought that'd be funny. Um, and that's what I decided to do. And then... It took off on Twitter. You saw people on, like, the Assassin's Creed community side of things, like, pick it up as well. And, like, it sort of spread everyone. Everyone was just showing Origins loads of fucking love. It was fucking crazy. Like, you got Abu Bakr and Ashraf and everyone getting involved with it as well. Fucking Ashraf followed me on Twitter, which I'm proud of. I don't does know how he long he'll stay. He, can't he still does. Follow you. He does still follow me. And I'm and amazed. And he likes a bunch of your tweets, too. Yeah, he keeps Bullshit. liking my does tweets. He really? Yeah. What? Yeah. What kind of tweets are you? What? T- the only tweets you post about you, you, it's all just you in tears, like all the time. Like, what would he be liking of that? <laughs> I'm gonna know. have to check this out. It's like all my Assassin's Creed ones, and then ones where like I've been in a thread and we've been talking about origins and stuff. So, you know, it's all related to him. But like I was talking about the soundtrack, and then it was like my my tweet saying, "Oh, it's time to replay uh, origins and stuff like that." Uh, but all in his likes. I'm going through his likes. It's just so many people talking about origins it's fucking crazy seeing everyone um everyone talking about origins and and bayek and everything and it just shows that everyone fucking loves bayek he's great i really i really loved your stream too just like seeing you go back into it and the intro the whole intro mission you were just like this game is amazing like everything about it you're just talking about and then it's just like i mean i haven't played odyssey i haven't played it since it released and it's just like Mm -hmm. you can tell that it doesn't even compare to origins Mm. Yeah, it's incredible. Like, I went through, like, that stream was great fun because I got to go through and not just talk about Origins in general, but, like, I could specifically point out, like, oh, here's where they did this well, and this is how an intro should be. And, like, you can see how the writing is really good and, like, the performance and the way that the game, it sets up Bayek and then it allows him to interact with... Because it straight away you see a scene with Bayek where he's being, you know, he's 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 pissed off and he's um, he fucking kills that guy, I forgot his name, in the Bent Pyramid, and then it straight away switches and you see him with Hepzifer after you've got out of that like um tomb and you get to see them together and it's like a, a completely contrast the beginning scene and then it funnels you out of the tomb and opens you out into the fucking massive desert and it's just such a brilliant opening to the game obviously there's pacing issues but like generally the opening is is, is great and it was just really fun being able to play through all that again and point it out and just sort of everyone was having a good time it was really good i'll just i'll just never forget and this is the truth about Origins more than anything. Like, doing YouTube, for this is just, for me personally, I feel like for our, our community that we've built over the last few years, mm. the community, like, started for you and I, like, working together and the Four Pillars and, and, and other YouTubers and our other friends, obviously you included, Brett, was the Unity days. And, mm. you know, we never, we've never had that moment where an Assassin's Creed game's come out and we're all loving it and all sharing and all having this great time with it. Because there was always something wrong. Unity sucked. Like, yeah, Syndicate was better than Unity, but like, it wasn't. Re- it wasn't really what we want. It wasn't so, sort of reinventing anything. And and Odyssey, it was just so fucking shit this year. Like in terms of community and like coming together and love, it was just fucking people hating on it and arguing about it and shit like that. The, I'll never forget my favorite time as a community was when Origins came out. One hundred percent. Because it was the only game that's come out, we're all sharing it, we've got this hashtag, this is my Bayek, that, that you know, we put together on Kill Connor Club, that, that took over the community, and people, everyone's just loving the game, sharing the game, enjoying the game, I just had so much fun playing it for that first time, we all did, I feel, 
yeah. and all the love for it and the sharing of it of that experience was the best for the community and doing videos on it all the time it was just yeah i think origins and that whole release period was one of the best so it's yeah definitely so and especially because we all thought this is the beginning of something you know great that's coming next and then we get odyssey and it's like well fuck it, but it just makes origins better you know that experience with, with origins better yeah yeah that's that was like going back and playing it was just sort of reliving that seeing just seeing everyone in the chat being like oh man this was so great and just like all of us being out of sort of reminisce and i had like 300 people watching and it was just like we were all just like it was just great it was fucking great and then seeing all that on twitter and you know seeing the developers and everything of origins get involved was like it just reminded me of like how great that time was like everyone was enjoying origins um you know the dev, the dev team was fucking great like the black flag team is they've, they've always been great with community and it was just it was so i think it was the best the assassin's creed community has ever been was with when origins was coming out because the yeah. the developers were so involved it didn't feel so corporate like it just felt like a bunch of people also, making a game they really cared about and the community was so involved with it it was so great um he, it's so funny you say that, like, you know, it was, it, 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 part of it wasn't just, you know, everyone loved and shared, it was Ubisoft and that, you know, Black Flag, Ashraf's Montreal team mm. that helped foster this beautiful community feeling that wasn't just, you know, we have our corner, but it was, everyone was kind of joined together for that period for the first time. Mm. And, you know, it was the, that team at Ubisoft that really helped, helped that. And look at, at the shit show I've never seen it worse than with Odyssey and it's funny you mentioned it isn't just because the game isn't great it's because the Ubisoft team I've never ever even with the bad games never seen Ubisoft handle it so fucking horribly with the community blocking people ignoring people attacking people fucking disgraceful disgraceful behavior from Ubisoft Quebec awful just disgraceful so bad and just, it just made it just made my opinion of them worse <clears throat> my opinion of their game worse and my opinion of ashraf and his team higher you know yeah, like it's just yeah. so disappointing yeah it was like with odyssey as as much as i had bits and pieces of fun in it like it's a competent game for the most part it's it's not amazing it's not that good but on top of that i dislike it more because because of the way the team responded to the community and the way they handled things it was sort of like like i like it, it just sort of sours the whole experience and it's not good to begin with so it's not like oh this is a great game so i guess it saves it it's like the game was fucking average the community like the team handled it fucking poorly and so it's just oh, just the whole odyssey i just hate the idea of it i hate all of it it's just yeah it's not even the, yeah because i feel like when i think about playing i'm like i had fun when i played odyssey i don't think it's a bad game or anything but thinking about how I felt during that period of when I was out with the community just hating each other because Ubisoft Quebec handled the community so poorly, it just makes my memory of it sour. It makes me, yeah. when I think back on the game, hate it. Not because the game was bad, but the whole experience was horrible in the community. And the game's not that good either. Like, so, you know. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, but, it, it's but Origins fine, felt better but when like, I think you know. about it. Well, Origins, is, it's not like it's a perfect game. No, it's a phenomenal all. game. I loved it. But it's but it wasn't ten out of ten like no. nine out of I could think it's a nine out of ten but like you know there's 8. things 8. I would have liked 8. to have yeah. seen yeah eight point eight things are, other things I would have loved improved or seen or whatever you know there's criticism but when I remember playing it it's nothing but love because mm. of the community because of how Ubisoft treated it like it's nothing but love when I remember it yeah and it was like that came like that it reminded me of that when I did this bike video and you saw the response on Twitter it sort of reminded me I was like wow like you know ashraf's still around he's tweeting people he's liking tweets you know and you've got abu bakar there like you know making jokes making joke about it and everything and it just felt like i was like this is this is how it should be like what what the fuck happened to this yeah. with, with the quebec team like jesus christ i just yeah. yeah but i mean i can't wait to see what ash is working on whether it's a bike sequel or not i'll be interested in in what he's working on because it's it's yeah. it's ash and you know i love him so I'm definitely going to make a Talking. honey dick of this section, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about uh, Ubisoft Quebec, like, so I got to play the game a few times before release, and, you mm-hmm. know, I went out with other press outlets and stuff, and after we were done, you know, they just asked everyone how they liked it, and everyone was just, like, praising it. They didn't say anything bad, just, like, yes-men, basically. 
and uh i remember i was like i was kind of nervous to give like some sort of negative feedback because everyone's praising and i'm just like so the thing i came up with was it i was like it's fun but it kind of looks like origins like on the outside graphics wise and just uh it doesn't really feel like assassin's creed and it just like the room kind of got quiet and it, it kind of reminds me because like it's the same exact thing. Loomer went in, he had an interview, and then he criticized the game. And then just Ubisoft Quebec didn't know how to handle it at all. And it wasn't even, like, he wasn't being immature about it. It was just mm. a question. And then they just, like, shut him down completely. Mm. And it's just, they, like... They tried to block him out of the community. The godfather of the community. And they've tried to, like, block him out. Ridiculous. I mean, Montreal's never going to do that. So I'm sure Loomer will be around. But yeah, it's I, so I hope so because he, he's kind of he's kind of started leaving yeah, and being less of a participant. Be, but it's because of that, like yeah. what they've done worked. Them trying to push him out has worked because he doesn't want to be a part of stuff anymore. No, but also he didn't like Origins as much as we did either. Like he was already mm. sort of sort of you know losing yeah. his, his care. Like I watched him talk about Origins right after he finished it on his stream, and he said a lot of things that I agree with. But those things for him sort of ruin the experience like whereas with me i'm sort of like oh, i love the game so much he's sort of like these are the things that needed to be done in an origins game and they didn't do it and so it's like this game isn't really good enough um which i completely understand like i, I can get yeah, that but, yeah, I, sure. but for me like i've let that go sort of thing like i just enjoy origins yeah. but origins i wasn't looking for anything special like it's assassin's creed i wasn't expecting it but i can yeah, get sure. where he's coming from completely so um that's sort of just i guess that's where he's going but i've been seeing him on twitter like people will t- ask him things and he's like i just don't care like and it's like i yeah i get that that's how i feel all the time so <laughs> yeah, yeah no it's true that feeling is just like the the series it's like i've never been the biggest assassin's creed fan but they've just constantly ignored the lore with like the ac movie and then um odyssey especially and putting juno in the comics like they just don't stop it's like they don't care anymore so it's like i've kind of accepted that at this point yeah, yeah they just have no, they're just too, there's too much they have no cohesive direction yeah, it's just yeah. like the same, it's the same old shit and it's been like this for years now it's, yeah, it it's not been. even like, new yeah it's fucking retarded like I was making jokes yesterday about Assassin's Creed Rebellion like that new app that's come out I was making some stupid jokes and people were saying like oh wow Assassin's Creed's dead I'm like y- I fucking know it's been like this for like four years of yeah. course it's yeah. dead <laughs> Like, yeah, it's, what, thanks what, for the new information. <laughs> but people keep saying it, and I'm like, "What? How have you only just realized? Like, they have not since Assassin's Creed Three. That that's how long it's been. Like, they haven't really done anything since then. Um, I mean, okay, well, Black Flag and Origins, but yeah, no, nah, but cool, you, you know what? You know what I mean, though. Like, can't can't. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Like, it, it lost all direction. In terms it lost of the franchise whole package, story. Like, yeah, yeah. In terms yeah. of all package, it lost total narrative franchise direction as yeah. soon as Assassin's Creed 3 released and then it's had like just anomaly great games that are great games in themselves yeah. but not as like a connected thing to the whole they're universe not what they, like Black yeah, Flag not what, yeah. in itself is an amazing game Origins in itself is an amazing game but not how it all connects necessarily together or flows to the next game or the game before it or anything like that yeah 